What's up, Elementor fans? I'm Jeffrey from Lightbox, and this is Building Businesses with Elementor. This is where we talk about growing your web design business and elevating your Elementor skills. All right, let's dive in. Recently, I completed a series of videos that shows the different effects that you can make using Elementor's sticky feature. And these are effects to your menu and your header. Things like changing your logo when you're scrolling, like going from a dark logo to a light logo and changing the background of your header. Uh, going from like transparent to a solid background, shrinking the logo, and uh, well, there's just all kinds of different effects you could really do using Elementor sticky feature. I will leave links to those videos inside the description. Also, subscribe to uh, support the channel. We're new. That way, it'll be a lot easier to find this information as we're putting it out. So, in this video, what I want to do is break down how this actually works and show you how the CSS works. That way you can start to use this and start to create your own effects because really there's a whole lot that can be done here. Like I, I, I came up with a few things, but I'm sure there's a lot more things that I haven't even thought of yet. I also would like to see what other people could do with this effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is a little bit more advanced than our regular videos for beginners, but if you want to step up your Elementor game and get really good at building websites, then learning CSS is the way to go. Anybody could do this, just follow along. I will take you step by step through this. So let's go ahead and check out the CSS. The way CSS works with Elementor Sticky feature is there is a special class and it's triggered or activated when we set the effects offset. Let me show you what I mean. So we'll go over here to my header. Everything's already built out in it. If you want to learn how to start this from scratch, check out one of our other videos. For this one, we're just gonna go right into uh, right into the business on this. We're going to make the whole section on the top stick. So select on edit section, go over to your advance, and then to motion effects, and let's turn on the sticky here. So we're gonna click on top, we're gonna to make it stick to the top, and here is the key right here. This is it, the effects offset. Now this is where we make our effects right here. So, so let's just say we put in 100 here. Now what that means is when you scroll up your page 100 pixels or whatever number you put in here, that class is activated and is triggered and it comes to life. So right now that class is just not in the code. But when we scroll up and we hit whatever mark, whatever number that we put in our fix offset, that class now is activated. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now I'll show you where to find it and what it is. Let's save the home page and now we can see that uh, the, the, the header is sticking to the top. Let's take a look at our inspect element here. So it's going to be in the section. So navigate to the section uh, for, your, for your header and it's going to be one of these classes. You see there's a lot of classes in here already but what look what happens when we scroll up. Did you see that? It popped up right there. There it is. Elementor sticky effects. And when we scroll back down, there it goes. It disappears. So this is the key right here. It is this class. So this is the CSS that we did for our tutorials. And you see in all the CSS, that's what we use. Elementor sticky effects. Now, by using this class and what Elementor did right here was brilliant. It was amazing what they did by including this in and making it dynamic and work the way that it works. So we could do all kinds of things. And that's why I, I really like this function right here. And I wanted to make a video on it because I think like I came up with a few things that I thought of that I could do with it. But I know there's so much more. There are so many things that we could do to get creative and to add, you know, some fun to our websites. So how about this? Check it out, play around with it, have some fun. If you think of something that you could do with this, uh, add it inside the comments, let us know about it. And if you have any questions or, you know, any ideas, like maybe this could work, drop that in the comments too. We can figure this out together. All right, I hope this video helps. Please subscribe, it's a new channel. We appreciate the support and looking forward to bringing up more videos and more 
just tips, tricks, and hacks, and all kinds of stuff for Elementor and for new web designers. That's it. Thank you.